right to vote is a right that we shed blood for. Sign Luela until we got it. Zimbabwe is gearing toward the 2023 harmonized election slated between July and August this year. Ben Moyo from the Bulawayo Progressive Residents Association has urged eligible voters to be cautious when voting and not only focus primarily on members of parliament and presidential candidates. He said residents must first focus on councillors who will give them day-to-day -day service delivery. But it's too late. So that also, to me, is something that we should be concerned about. At a stakeholder conference held at the Bulawayo Media Center, Ben Moyo raised the issue of candidate fees, which is expected at approximately 20,000 for presidential candidates. Members of parliament will also have to fork out 1,000 US dollars. Residents' perspective, folks who are right in is the level of fees that Zek has decided to to put in place or to a candidate for president, president for MP, president for this, we feel that it is excessive. The right to vote is a right that we shed blood for, sideways until we got it. It was not given us any plate, but Zek is now making we did that because what we had in Rhodesia was qualified franchise. Zek is taking us back also to qualified franchise. Inmoyo also challenged the government to allow diasporians to vote. In 2018, President Emma Solom Nangaka promised to allow those residing outside the country to participate in the 2023 harmonized elections. What we have seen in the rest of SATIC is that the rest of SATIC allows their citizens residing elsewhere to take part in the vote. Zimbabwe does not do that. It denies us that right to vote. I'll come back to it again and stress Zimbabwe forgets that the right to vote is a right that we fought for and shed blood for. So as residents, we are concerned when Zimbabwe makes, goes back to the colonial system of qualified franchise. Why? Further questioned why some of the commissioners who took part in throwing up the delimitation report disowned the outcome of the report, which will reveal new words and constituencies. We were also concerned from the report here, delimitations that came out. Concerned because we were told that some of the commissioners disowned the, 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 the report, although there's a lot of rushing aside to those, those concerns. But our concerns are still there. Why did the others disown it? Our suspicion is that it was an attempted gerrymandering. So as, as it was, because certainly we, we, we get those concerns, as it was, it is very bad. If some people inside the process themselves don't want to own the process, federalism is good, why? There's residency as well as a name, name, which one can know you will see some of Electoral voters' role is yet to be released, and the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission's actions of not availing the voters' role contradicts the country's constitution in Section 21.1, which states that every voters' role and every consolidated role shall be a public document and open to inspection by the public, free of charge during office hours at the office of the commission or registration office where it is kept.